back to Business and Politics. We're talking to Mr. Lauren Ziller of the Italian Chamber. Can you talk about your members some more? Because I'm kind of curious um, about their their profile and what industries they represent. And I'm just wondering um, if there are other um, sectors in Italy that maybe we should be courting right, to come here to the Philippines like you did. Well, definitely. Now, first of all, about our members. Our members are uh, definitely Filipino companies who may have interests uh, in Italy, either because they are buying Italian products or because they are using Italian machinery, or uh, Italian companies who have set up their branch in the Philippines or that are trading or dealing with uh, Filipino partners or Filipino counterparts. That is typically, typically our member base. But we also have uh, French companies, we have German so companies. It's not, not exclusive to Italian. Spanish yeah. companies. We have uh, a lot of uh, companies also from Europe uh, and even from other parts of the ASEAN who choose to be our members because they see that we do certain things right in certain sectors. Um, and especially now lately, uh, Filipino companies who want to do export mm -hmm. because uh, we are very specialized, especially also my, my first job was export manager, can you imagine? Okay. Uh, we are also specialized in helping companies to find export markets. And that's at the moment something that is being sought after. Especially after RCEP, uh, I think uh, the Philippines needs to gear up uh, or succumb uh, right. versus uh, their competitors in the region. That's interesting. So, um, in you know, what are, you know, when I think about Italian companies, so you, you mentioned some of those, but you were saying a while ago that, uh, that there, there are certain expertise of, of Italians that maybe not many Filipinos know about. Can, can you talk about that? Maybe I'm just thinking about what areas from, you know, the, the Italian business uh, community we should be looking at. Well, one thing we have in common is Italians and Filipinos, which is our appetite or food. our food, right? <laughs> we love our food, yeah. both of us. So Italy produces some of the best uh, uh, food manufacturing uh, machines and uh, starting from the gelato to noodles to many other things. I know that we have a big competition here from uh, China or Taiwan because uh, they try to beat everyone's price. Sure. But when we talk about quality and uh, longevity of uh, these machines, then the Italian ones are certainly the best in the world. Are there any uh, agricultural companies in, in your chamber or have you heard of any agricultural companies in Italy that may be looking uh, to yes, yes. You know, explore uh, opportunities here? Or? Agriculture is actually, uh, was always considered a poor market because uh, there is not much money in it. Okay. So we have never spent too much time developing that sector. But there is several uh, companies, Ita uh, our members, sure. who are active, for example, in uh, uh, veterinary medicine, who are active in um, in other fields of agriculture, like additives uh, sure. for uh, various uh, um, products that are being produced uh, here in the Philippines. You were uh, mentioning machinery a while ago. Is yes. that is that exclusive to maybe you know uh, high-end cars and 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 uh, different kinds of mobility uh, transport but or or are there other you know other other types of industrial machinery that Italy is known for yeah for example we were talking about food so food processing sure. machinery and uh, then I was mentioning Daniele earlier which is Daniele. in the steel uh, processing yes. and, and manufacturing of steel products uh, we have uh, presses uh, for example so thermo folding presses which could be for the manufacturing of uh, fridges or air conditioners. Right. Uh, there is a real variety of things. Uh, mm. Whatever you can think of, so the Italians have invented it but, probably. <laughs> <laughs> what about telecommunications? I mean, I, 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 I remember from the past, you know, that there are mm. some Italian firms also looking at opportunities here. Is that still the case or uh, uh, is that an area 
telecommunications, uh, maybe IT, uh, you know, that, that field. Are there any Italian uh, standouts that uh, we should be looking yeah, at? Yeah, we have one member, CRIF, which is a uh, credit rating agency, oh, right? Yes. And they do also uh, business intelligence. Uh, they work with uh, over 70 local banks to give them information about companies and individuals. Right. Uh, that is definitely uh, one company that stands out. All right. And uh, then we have other companies that do software development, for example, and um, companies who do, for example, what I mentioned, export uh, promotion. Sure. Yeah. Is the Philippines doing any promotions in, in Italy to maybe get some of your businessmen to also look this way? Because you said that they're primarily here for ASEAN and probably China. And they're seeing the Philippines as, you know, an added market to, to do business in. But um, is there something that can be done, you think, that, they, that can make them look at the Philippines first and then maybe ASEAN and other countries? I mean, the, you know, from a different way? Somehow it has started the okay. process. I can feel it, I saw it, that uh, now people that are looking at the region are seriously considering uh, Philippines as a base. Okay. But now when we are talking about setting up a factory and uh, a production uh, company, then we really face fierce competition from Thailand and Vietnam. Okay. Uh, Thailand and Vietnam just two weeks ago, I was in Bangkok on a okay. regional meeting with my colleagues from other Italian chambers in the region. And uh, they told me that in Thailand, they give you free land if you want to set Build up a there. factory. Wow. In okay. Vietnam, they give you also free land and 10 years or seven or 10 years of tax holiday. So uh, we really need to become more competitive here in the Philippines. But mm -hmm. on paper, if you look at it, sure. there is no country like the Philippines. Okay. We speak English, we are a flexible workforce, okay. willing to learn, but there is a few things which will then stop them. So for example, red tape and sure. uh, the high price of electricity, for example, which is one uh, of the major the highest in the region yeah and so if uh, your factory is a high energy intensive uh, production uh, place means that you cannot set up here i see now do these other countries that you mentioned are they promoting in in italy or yeah they're um, all promoting they're all promoting but have you ever while you were there do you remember maybe hearing something about the philippines or Maybe uh, say, hey, come visit, look at, the, maybe join a, a business mission or trade mission. Yeah, we have uh, regular business missions, at least uh, three or four a year that come to the Philippines. We are in contact with most of the local chambers of commerce and right. uh, um, export promotion agencies in Italy to bring companies here. Definitely, we are doing everything we can to bring in investors. Right, right. But I said before, we There's need to issues. do more to bring Filipino companies out because that will bring in fresh uh, foreign currency and will increase the overall capability of uh, Philippine companies. You mean bringing them out, meaning uh, Philippine companies going to Italy? Doing business in Italy, That's in Europe, uh, and uh, in the Middle East, in yeah. Africa, in wherever you, you, yeah. you, there is a market. Well, you've been here a while. W yeah. what, what Philippine companies or industries do you think would be suitable right, to go to Italy or elsewhere in Europe? Uh, yeah, I where, think where are the opportunities? I think that's uh, worthwhile doing a study on. Okay. Uh, the moment our message is that those companies uh, who are aiming at export, especially to Europe uh, or to Middle East, to Africa, they can come to us right. and we may be able to help them. That's interesting because Italy has, you know, a big enough base. I'm wondering, um, I wonder if you're thinking about this, or maybe the Philippines using Italy as a, as a springboard Yes. For the for the rest of the year, is that something that you think that's yeah, our worthy tagline, looking at? Or our tagline, in fact, is uh, Italy gateway to Europe. Italy because gateway in fact, to Europe. From the times of Marco Polo, Italy has been the gateway to Europe. All right. And still, it's like that. Now I know that uh, the uh, Belt and Road uh, <laughs> uh, agreement between Italy and China has been suspended. Sure. 
but that was also a sign that Italy is the first uh, country that uh, welcomes this trade because since the ancient times it has always been there. So for, for Filipinos who are maybe exploring opportunities to mm. uh, maybe plant roots in Italy and use that to service Europe, w what would you advise them? Where would they go? Italy is a big country. Do they go to Rome or are there certain parts of the country that are also worthwhile looking at? Uh, and maybe um, how can they go about it? Uh, what would be the most common mistakes that they should avoid? Well, first of all, um, rather than spending money in trade exhibitions immediately, they should come to us and then and evaluate your, uh, yeah. uh, some potential partners and which we can find. And so then you do matchups. We do the business matching. I see. Uh, we do a preliminary study if their products uh, can be worthwhile bringing. If they are of uh, equivalent standard for the European markets, because that is also a question that arises very sure. often, if they have the right packaging. Or, but there are several products, for example, which are very much appreciated, which can be uh, manufacture handmade products here in the Philippines. Well, you're practically Filipino. You've been there. Well, <laughs> what are some of the things that you? Notice that you know you think could prob probably make it in Europe. Oh, there is some beautiful furniture or lampshades or uh, many many things that uh, in Italy maybe. would fly really. Uh, even the uh, hand woven um, uh, I mean clothes. Yes, the garments are absolutely uh, brilliant. Also for the for several uh, industries there that they can use them to produce, I don't know, pillows, for example, or uh, uh, again, lampshades, uh, I mentioned. Wow, very interesting. Uh, we'll have to take another quick break, Lawrence. Uh, please stay tuned. You're watching Business and Politics. We'll be right back.